Okay, friends. Now let us have a look on afternoon session questions. Okay. So here is a question. For a given traverse, latitudes and departures are calculated, and it is found that sum of latitudes is equal to plus 2.1 meter and the sum of departures is equal to minus 2.8 meter. So the given data is sum of latitudes and sum of departures and he is asking us to calculate length and bearing of the closing error. Okay. So first uh, write the given data. What is the given data? Sum of latitudes and sum of departures. So let us write here sum of latitudes is equal to plus 2.1 meter and sum of departures is also given it is minus 2.8 meters okay so if you look at carefully about the signs of these two values okay so signs of these two values represents its coordinate so here you can see so the positive departure is this here the positive departure and here it is positive latitude so here it is negative departure right so here it is negative latitude so if you look at the signs of these two values nothing but plus 2.1 meters is the latitude nothing but plus positive latitude and negative departure right so the line is lies in this quadrant nothing but north west quadrant okay so this is north west quadrant so now it is clear the quadrant so here now we need to calculate the length and bearing of the closing error. Let us calculate the length. So we know the formula to calculate the length. So E is equal to square root of sigma latitudes square plus sigma departures square. Okay. So, if you substitute the values, latitudes plus 2.1 whole square plus minus 2.8 whole square, however, it will become plus. So, if you calculate this, the answer is turns out to be 3.5, the unit is meters. Okay. This is what 3.5 meters. So next calculate the bearing. So that can be calculated by using the relation alpha is equal to tan inverse of sigma departure by sigma latitude. Okay. So if you substitute the values here tan inverse of 2.8 by 2.1. So the up answer will turn out to be 53.13 something. If you convert it into the degrees and minutes, you will get 53 degrees 7 minutes. 48 seconds the north west okay so this is the answer i got okay now look at the options so what are the given options 2.45 meters no this is ruled out 3.50 meters it is okay and 50 3 degrees 7 minutes 48 seconds northwest. So, this is the correct answer. So, look at the other options also. Southeast 
and southeast. So these two options also ruled out. Okay. So the correct answer for this question is option B. Okay. So this is the entire solution for this question. Okay. Yes, friends. Let us look at the next question. So here is a question. A horizontal angle theta is measured by four different surveyors multiple times and the values reported are given below. So angle theta is given and the number of observations by a surveyor is also given. So he is asking us to calculate most probable value of the angle theta. Most probable value of the angle theta he is asking us to calculate. So this question is asked from the concept of errors and adjustments. Right. So here we need to treat these number of observations as weights. Okay. So treating number of observations as weights. Okay. So the most probable value can be written like this summation of w i theta i divided by summation of w i where i is equal to 1 to n ok so this is what the equation we will consider now ok so here this number of observations will consider as w and this is theta right so let us substitute the values here most probable value is equal to so w1 theta1 so w1 is nothing but 4 and theta1 is it its respective angle so 4 into angle value 36 degrees 30 minutes summation nothing but plus right second 3 into 36 degrees 0 minutes plus 8 into 35 degrees 30 minutes. Eight into thirty five degrees thirty minutes plus four into thirty six degrees thirty minutes. So entire divided by so WI summation, nothing but four plus 3 plus 8 plus 4. So the final if you calculate this the final most probable value is 36 degrees sharp. This is what the required answer for this question. Okay. Okay friends, the next question, in general the correct sequence of surveying operations is, okay, so here four sequences are given to us, he is asking us to identify the correct
correct sequence of surveying operations. Okay. So, let us answer this question by the method of elimination. Okay. C. So, option C, data analysis is at first position. So, directly option C, we can eliminate. Okay. Next, option D is also eliminated because field observations is at the first position. Okay. So, now the second activity, we will take a field observations, field observations by conducting preliminary survey or detailed survey. Okay. Either by conducting preliminary survey or detailed survey, we will collect the field observations in the second step. Now you can see where the field observations is. Yes, here it is in second position and uh, here data analysis is in second position. Now we came to know the answer. So after collecting field observations, we go for data analysis and then final stage is map making and the option A is the correct answer. Okay. So, here the answer for this question is option A. Okay. So, this is how you can answer a question by the method of elimination. Okay.